It is important that we understand that heat is not a single season issue. We have to plan year round in order to be prepared for every heat season. Even knowing the impact of extreme heat, we are somehow perpetually caught off guard every heat season. I look at mortality records from people who died during heat season last year. For example, in Arizona last summer, a woman was leaving a shopping center. She was overcome by the heat and collapsed in the parking lot, suffering second and third degree burns. She was relatively young and died of heat exposure with an internal body temperature of 110 degrees. She's just trying to go to the store. I think we need to realize the impact that heat is going to have on our everyday lives, whether it's your kid's school, whether it's you or your parents going shopping or going about their daily chores, the amount of money it takes to run your air conditioning. Local governments should develop heat action plans to help them identify who is vulnerable to heat and how best to protect them. A heat officer coordinates effort to ensure the most effective and efficient response to extreme heat. But surprisingly, there are only three cities in the country that have a heat officer, Miami, Phoenix, and Los Angeles. We don't plan for hurricanes only during hurricane season. We plan for hurricanes year round. We plan for wildfires year round. We have to treat heat the same way. I'm passionate about this topic because it feels unjust that something that affects us so deeply is ignored.